you may have noticed all these type scale calculators and type scale you know uh, explanation on the web uh, so let me show you what it is so a type scale is generally what is used to set the text hierarchy in whenever you're designing or when you are typesetting a page if you're a typographer or a designer you use the type scale to arrive at a certain set hierarchy without just choosing the random text sizes to set the hierarchy of all the text that is there on the page you're using it text type scale so but generally we don't start with type scale if you really look at it let's take an example let's say there is this swiggy app so in this swiggy app you you might notice that there are a lot of text sizes that are at play in their own context they look good but if you let us say start with a type scale um, the most popular one the golden ratio let us say this is how it would look crazy isn't it this is not so the scale that is there on the top is not what we see in the screen here. So you may okay say that uh, let us reduce the ratio a little bit and arrive at something that looks close to what is being used. Then you may have you may come up with this minor third or even uh, lesser kind of a ratio, which is 1.09. Probably this looks similar, and you are saying that 13 points is is where what is my base text size which is readable which is most used and depending on that you arrive at the rest of the you know uh, text hierarchy sizes but then still this is not accurate representation of what is being used so in reality what happens is this so if you analyze the screen you will see that there are a lot of different text sizes that are being used uh, almost seemingly random but they are not necessarily random because essentially whenever you choose uh, a text hierarchy it is always dependent on the amount of information that's there on the screen and highly dependent on the context in in which it is there so in this context and for this particular screen does this uh, text size look good and what is the text size supposed to do uh, that this particular uh, uh, you know hierarchy is supposed to do is that that is what is the direction you have to go so these are all the sizes <laughs> that are being used if you analyze and it feels like it is at random but it is not random the designers do arrive at a particular scale but the scale need not be necessarily dependent on the you know multiples and things like that they have a range which which uh, within which they use the text sizes certain text sizes they may not even use as i have you know laid it out the gray ones are the things that they are not using it and uh, but the other ones that I have highlighted in the orange are the ones that they have used among this in this entire scale. They may not, uh, they may have a different scale. Uh, this is just my closest approximation of what uh, what they may be using. But uh, and within that, if you see that they may have chosen uh, the 13, 14, 15, and 19 points to be the most uh, you know used across different screens in the application. But then again, this is just application design and uh, which is system design. When it comes to uh, advertising and marketing and web page design, there's a different set of ty uh, text, uh, ty type hierarchy that is being used because the, that needs expression, that needs boldness, that needs uh, more variation in the sizes to show the contrast and set the drama and things like that. So in that sense, your type scale may vary a lot, but generally in application design, your type scale does not vary uh, too much so you may have uh, 10 11 12 rather than saying 10 uh, 20 30 and kind of things like that so i hope this gives you an idea you generally never start with the type scale you always arrive at it depending on the context in which you are so the amount of information that is being used so see test uh, if that text size is working or not and then arrive at a scale so that people can you know use and reuse and pick and choose depending on what screen they are designing